Titan Medical Center can help you start off your year the right way. All of our therapies come straight from a U.S. licensed pharmacy. We offer testosterone therapy for men, bioidentical hormone therapy for women, medical weight loss, injectable vitamins, and amino acid injectables, relationship bedroom enhancing therapies, peptide therapies, custom IV and nutrient drip therapies, blood work, and much more. Plus, we service nationwide. If you'd like more information on how to become a Titan Medical Center patient, you can visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com or call or text us at 727-389-3220. What's up, guys? John here from Titan, and I've got one of my good friends here. And maybe you recognize him, maybe you don't, but let me introduce him to you. So this is my good friend Thaddeus Board, a.k.a. the WWE Titus O'Neil. That's right. So he does a lot of different things from philanthropy, uh, athletics, uh, he's an ambassador for WWE, and a lot, lot more. He does tons of stuff for the local community. You see him all around town, and you might even see him at a lot of different games all around across the country, because his sons play, right? He yeah. play college ball yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, my son's a freshman at UCF, and then uh, I got several family members on various teams throughout the country, and obviously friends throughout the NFL, NBA, whatever, so yeah, you'll definitely see me. <laughs> See me, see me at a sporting event for sure. He's on about. So it, it's really awesome to have him in here. I know his time is super valuable um, and he's all around. So I wanted to get him at least in here so we can talk to him. You know, not only is he a great person or like that, he's a good friend, but he's also a tight patient. So, um, you know, I want to get, you know, his scoop on how things are going. He's been with us for a while now and maybe you guys get the take on what he's doing or possibly how he's feeling. So, you know, so how has Titan uh, affected daily activity? as far as performance and all that. I know you travel a lot and all these different things. Well, that's the, the biggest difference. I mean, for me, as, as, and the biggest help with Titan has been the fact that I do travel, you know, a lot, uh, every week, you know, all over the world. And, uh, you know, fatigue is a real thing if you, uh, if you don't have the right regimen, uh, along with nutrition and everything else. Uh, but sometimes I don't really like to deal with the nutrition part, but I do have a good regimen with Titan. Uh, I'm just being 100% transparent. Uh, anybody that follows me on Instagram, sees my stories, they know for a fact I'm not like the biggest health nut at all. I'll have some, sprinkle some healthy food in here and there, uh, but for the most part, my regimen that I'm on with Titan and have been on for a couple of years now yeah. uh, has been, uh, I mean, it's been amazing for me. It's been, uh, you know, I think it's probably been amazing for the people around me because I'm not as grouchy uh, <laughs> or angry as I probably would have been. Um, uh, so I definitely want to try to make sure I take every advantage I can to, to not only maintain a healthy lifestyle, but also to, uh, you know, I've been playing football, uh, you know, obviously wrestled for years with WWE and performed with them for years. But even prior to, and John, you, you can understand this, um, I mean, as kids, we did like the craziest stuff, running around, oh, playing, yeah. throw up, throw them up and blow them up football, yep. you know, in the middle of the street, That's you know. Right. <laughs> now guys don't even want to play on turf, you know. So, <laughs> right. um, um, kids don't even want to go outside anymore. Yeah, kids don't even want to go outside. They want to, you know, play video games, which they can make a lot of money doing that. Yeah. Uh, and, and YouTube and all that stuff. But for me, my body has taken a beating for a long time, even as a, you know, as a young kid. Like, I just think back to the crazy stuff that I did. Um, and being able to, you know, not only find Titan, but become, you know, a Titan family member. Um, and then see all the stuff, you know, that, that we all have in common. You know, everybody uh, with time and, uh, uh, Titan may not have the same regimen, uh, but they all have the same goal. The same goal is to look your best, feel your best. Um, and hopefully, you know, that inspires the next person next to you to say, hey, you know, what are you doing? And it's definitely done that for me, uh, you know, uh, training and working out. And people say, oh, there's no way you're 45 years old. Yeah, actually it is. Uh, and then they ask me, and then that's when I refer them right to Titan and say, hey, go talk to John and Sharice. They'll get you right. And, you know, I would, I would recommend that 10 times out of 10 just because I know how, how, it's, how, how it's helped me. That means a lot, man. 
definitely means a lot. You know, I, you know, I take a personal, uh, you know, stake in, in, yeah. in that is, man. Like I said, he's a good friend now and all that. So I want to make sure he's looking good, feeling good, and performing his very best. And the other thing is he's traveling a lot, right? So he's going through numerous airports, even though it's on private, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you got to go around a lot of different people. Yeah. You know, you're shaking hands, kissing babies, per se. And, you know, it's, just, it's a lot of things, you know? Yeah. And, Little known fact, very important fact, knock on wood. But I am probably the only person within my circle that has never tested positive for COVID. Wow. That has never had COVID. They never even thought about it. I don't think COVID even know who I am. Nice. Um, as, as John said, like I never stopped. I never stopped traveling. I never, um, never stopped working. Uh, and, you know, fortunately, like I said, knock on wood, uh, I have not tested positive or had COVID. Thank God. And, uh, you know, you can see me on Good Morning America, and uh, they uh, they so strict with their protocol. Oh, I bet. You got to take COVID test the night before. You got to take one day of. <laughs> they like, yeah, don't bring that up in here. So <laughs> shout out to Disney, you know, for always uh, making sure that everybody's uh, healthy uh, on set so that we can all perform, you know, without the stress and worries of um, getting sick. Getting sick, yeah. yeah man, that's, that's a big one. I've you know? seen people get it, and it's some of my best, closest friends have gotten it. It's, it's, yeah. Been, it was tough. Oh, you know, it's not even that anymore. I mean, you've got that out there still lingering, but now you have all these respiratory viruses, yeah. uh, flus coming on, sinus infections are going crazy. A lot of these kids got it, and they're yeah. giving their parents, and then, you know, it's it's a domino effect, yeah. you know. So it's good to keep the body, you know, as, as optimal as possible. Glutathione, I know, is a good one as yeah. far as a super antioxidant, you know, um, helping with not only the liver, but free radicals in the environment. I mean, just that, too. I mean, traveling around, you get in a lot of different environments. Mm -hmm. You know, you're taking a lot of different things in, and uh, you know, it can be different in anywhere you, you go. So, that's awesome. Um, yeah. I, if there's anything else you want to add, uh, it's the holiday season. Oh yeah. You know, um, I'm sure you guys got to be running some type of special. Oh, for sure. I mean, for give sure. The gift, give the gift of health to yourself. That's right. But more importantly, give the gift of love and just being a great human being to people out there, regardless of what background they come from. Um, regardless of, uh, you know, whether they have money, you know, sexual orientation, political affiliation. Mm -hmm. I think heading into 2023, um, we like to say something around here called tighten up, you know. That's right. Um, and that is not just about, like, uh, being a Titan family member. Uh, obviously, that applies for me and for everybody else that's in this family. But that means for everybody out there, too, anybody can be a Titan anytime, any day, any place. That's right. And usually being a Titan is just being inspiring, being motivating, uh, uh, going the extra mile to be kind. You know, we got right. World Kindness Day coming up, you know, December 16th. Um, but you don't have to wait to that day to be kind. Uh, there are a lot of people hurting. Inflation is a real thing. Yes, uh, the pandemic, people were, were, were hurting prior to the pandemic. And now the pandemic, and you get a hurricane, and you get a tropical storm, and the list goes on and on. Of, of mounting issues that a lot of people are dealing with and facing. So we are, while we are very blessed, we are blessed um, to uh, live a, a very good life and be able to provide a good life to those around us. Uh, just keep in mind that there are some people out there that are hurting, especially during this holiday season, whether they lost a loved one around this time, or whether or not they just can't afford uh, to to do something for their own children. Um, if you see a, a toy drive or you see the ability to give back in one way or another prepare meals, get meals, buy food, you go to the grocery store, you're buying canned goods, buy two or three extra ones if you can, uh, drop it off to your local food bank and uh, and uh, help make this world a better place and more importantly, make, help make this holiday season leading into 2023 uh, a season of not only giving, uh, but living, living your best life, uh, doing everything you can to prepare yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, and spiritually to go into 2023 ready to go, ready to tighten up. That's right. And, uh, and uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to tighten up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What a great message. It's truly inspiring, man. I mean, you know, especially in your position, a lot of people, they don't have to do that, right? And you definitely don't. I know you're genuine about it. Yeah. That's the best yeah. thing. Yeah. It shows through in so many different ways, you know. Um, you want to tie us like, he took over the school, man. I mean, he's done so much for these underprivileged kids there, man. And they got a lot more opportunity just because of that. So, you know, tighten up all the way around you. Yeah. I think, you know, if you're feeling good and looking good, you can press it on to everybody yeah. else. Yeah. 
um, and, and then show them some love and hopefully they'll feel that and, and get right along. So this has been a great uh, little little talk, I guess. Let me interview. This is a talk yeah. to my man yeah. and good friend, Thaddeus Bullard, a.k.a. WWE Sensation, Titus O'Neil. We appreciate you guys. Have a happy holidays. Yeah. And uh, we'll come back to you guys with more cool stuff. And hopefully we'll have him back in here. We can talk about something else. Yeah. Um, but we appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you guys. And we'll see you guys soon. Peace. So my birthday is coming up in two weeks and I will be 51 years old. Don't let the gray hair fool you, but I will be 51. I feel about 26 though. Today is my yearly checkup at Titan Medical Center. So just come here, check everything out, keep myself healthy and shape and active. It's always a pleasure to come around and see my Titan family. I enjoy seeing them and it's a beautiful thing. All my therapies, they're going as planned. I'm feeling better each and every day. My energy levels through the roof. The ECA stack is just ridiculous. The Hercules, my favorite, obviously. Keep me pumped. Keep my pump going. Uh, Titan Complete, the B12, everything. Just keep me young. Keep me looking young, feeling young. I recommend anyone and everyone to jump on these Titan products. It will definitely improve your life, improve your health, and just get your blood work done, see what's going on with you on the inside, because it's more important to look good on the inside and the outside as well. The blood work is very, very important because you always need to know what's going on on the inside of your body, and you can't see that physically. So with the blood work, you know all your levels, make sure your testosterone levels, your estrogen levels, Every level you have in your body is being checked thoroughly through a doctor and it's, it's always a good thing. You need to know what's going on with your body and if there's something wrong, you can easily fix it most of the times. I've been with Titan now for going on, it seems like nine or 10 years, but it's been a long time. I've been enjoying, enjoying the ride, enjoying the journey uh, and I thank them for keeping me healthy, keeping me on track, keeping me accountable and uh, hey, you see it.
What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So every week, me and my beautiful wife here, we're going to give you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully help your relationship or your future relationship and make sure you guys don't make those mistakes that maybe we've made in the past maybe. or some of our people or friends or somebody we've heard of. So at that point, we want to make sure you guys are getting some good advice here. Um, and this week, it's a good one. It's talking all about teamwork teamwork makes the dream work definitely does 100 percent. teamwork goes in every avenue of life pretty much um you know whether you're in a relationship right and you're in your job you probably work with team members um if you play sports you have team members there um so at that point like it's a really important thing and even let's talk about relationships teamwork is very very important and the reason why is because you guys are essentially a team. And you guys are going to work together no matter what it is. Or you it should. should. <laughs> if you guys aren't you working as a team. Yeah. And you a lot could. of people don't. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I, I, I see a lot of problems with it because people are still, you know, when you go into a relationship, you're an individual, right? So you're the I in team, per se. But when you go into that team, that's when you guys, you know, come together. You guys start collaborating. You guys start planning things. You guys start doing these different things together. Uh, but some people don't get out of that individualized situation in their head, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or, the, you know, because maybe it's a career thing. Yeah, I mean, they might have to hold everything at their job. So maybe they're just used to doing that. I know me personally. Like, you know, I guess once I get in a certain mode, I have this, like, mode, and it just stays on all day, right? And some people can't turn that mode off. It's kind of the same thing, I think, you know, yeah. where let's just say they have to hold the burden at, at work. They may not really let go of the, I am going to make all the decisions right now, right here, without making a team decision when they go home. Right. I mean, It's you know, common, I think. It, it is common, you know, I mean, but even in the light of where some people, they just... They compete with their spouse. I mean, and they shouldn't be competing with their spouse. If you guys are married, for sure, 100%. Even if you guys are in a, a dating relationship or a girlfriend and boyfriend type deal, um, it shouldn't be who gets the best of who. Right? right. The only time that that actually works is when you guys go to Dave & Buster's and then you really do compete. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you know how many are, whoever gets the most baskets, <laughs> whoever wins the Mario Kart, <laughs> then you compete. Okay, outside of Dave and Buster's, no competing. It's okay Let's to have some, some fun competition in <laughs> games, but you know, in all seriousness, when you guys are doing serious things or you know you guys are making serious decisions, that's when the team comes into effect. And now one team member might be better at one thing than the other, right? But that's where you guys utilize each other's best of skills and make the best of these situations, scenarios, or your future planning. I mean, because that's what it's all about. I mean, team members come together, whether they like each other or don't. Now, if you're in a relationship, hopefully you like that you team member, You kind of have right? to. You know, even, even if you think about, like, let's say separated couples and stuff, right? Yeah. You guys have to work as a team for the kids. Yeah. And a lot of times it does come down to, like, kids, right? Yeah. So you should work as a team when it comes to making decisions for the kids. Yeah. You should work as a team to make things happen. So making things happen goes on many levels, right? So, for instance, I'm going to use me and John's. This is a very recent thing for us making it happen at the office, right? Let's just say that there's some things that need to happen at the office and we need to make it happen. And both of us need to work together as one because we're stronger together than individually, right? right. So we work together as one to get the job done and get it done extra, extra right. right. You know, so you do the same thing. You apply that same exact concept to, you know, okay, let's say you got three kids, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so you're going to go to soccer. I'm going to do basketball. We're going to meet up. We're going to do dinner at eight, you know, like, and then you're working as a team. So everything gets done, right? Same thing when it comes, to, let's say it comes to house chores, right? And let's say that, you know, you've got this whole slew of laundry to do, right? So your husband's ever so kind of to say, listen, you know what, honey, I'll go ahead and I'll do the dishes. Just knock out those eight loads of laundry, right? But it's, you're working as a team to get the job done. So ultimately, regardless of what you guys do to make it get done, it has to get done, right? It's not, it's not going to do itself. Right. So you guys have to work together. And believe it or not, when you work together, not only will you probably get it done more efficiently, 
Um, but, you know, it's a little bit less seamless if you're working together as a team. Everybody's on the same page. You're communicating. But teamwork is, is huge. And this comes financially. I mean, mm-hmm. that's the same exact thing, too. Mm-hmm. Making sure everybody's on the same page financially. Mm-hmm. Teamwork. You know, uh, let's say you want to put together a savings account, right? All right. From your check, 100 bucks every week. Your check, 100 bucks every week. Guess what? We have money going on vacation at the end of the year. Teamwork. This mm-hmm. is teamwork makes dream work. Going right mm-hmm. back to it, mm-hmm. you know. I agree. I mean, you know, when you're working as a team, you're going to be able to accomplish more things. Even if you divide and conquer as a team, right? Like she was saying, like you know, you take her to soccer practice, I'll take him to baseball practice, you know, and we're working as a team to accomplish this. Um, it's a lot easier. There's less friction because you guys are on the same page. If you guys aren't on the same page, you guys are not going to be working as a team very well. Better get on the same page. That's when you guys, <laughs> yeah, that's when the communication comes into play. Communication. And we always come back to that because it's a very important one. I mean, you know, we covered every episode because it's really, it's key. And teammates communicate. Right. Whether you're on the basketball court. Even on the floor, basketball court, right? right? They're still doing something in the you know, back or like, they have it set up. Hey, pass me the ball or hey, I got a pick coming. You know, or they got a wink or something, you know? Whatever it is, yeah. They <laughs> communicate in these ways to let their team member know what's going on so you know they can adapt to whatever the situation is. Right. And that's really what it is. And I know before we've talked about you know your own little language, your own little things to yeah. let your teammate know or your, your spouse or your partner a know. A nice kick under the table works well too. <laughs> Maybe that, you know, <laughs> we need to get out of this situation. It's easier to read your teammate. And, you know, going along with the teammate thing, when you're doing these things together, it's bonding. Mm-hmm. It's bringing you guys closer. You, you don't guys, even realize it, but you don't. it really does. You know, you have no idea. And then you can look back at these, you know, situation scenarios. Maybe they were bad ones at that time, and you can sit back and laugh at them now because you guys got through them. You guys got through them as a team. Accomplished And it. you guys accomplished whatever task it was or goal or you had to get. overcame it, right? Yeah, for sure. It's huge. I, I, I think that's, a, that's definitely the thing. You win together, you lose together. Yeah, right? it's not an individualized thing. Because, I mean, not. ultimately, if you guys really are a couple, right, and this is what we're talking about, relationship goals, yeah. it, it, what one does affects the, the other. For sure. Regardless. For if you sure. think it does or doesn't, it might be mentally, it might be physically, it might be emotionally, it might be financially. Either way, look at it. You guys are bonded in all those platforms. Yeah. So you guys have to make sure that you guys are working as a team or it's going to affect one or the other. And, right. God, and I mean, that's the best way to do it. You know, teamwork, communication, right. huge. So, you know, this is for mostly couples that are together, right? Because they're already together. They've already bonded to a certain point. They're already on each other's team. You know, if you're single, right? Because there are single people that probably watch this too as well. <laughs> you know, at that point, when you're looking for a partner, look for a good teammate too as well. Right. That's somebody that's interacting with you, communicating with Responsive. you. Responsive. And that's not something that might happen in the first two dates, but... Uh, probably not. You can, you can d- definitely tell within, I, I would say the first month or so, of like, you know, this girl or this guy is going to be a really good teammate. They... You know, they include me in things. They're bringing up good points. They're trying to help me as well as me help them and not just a one-way street. Right. You know, there's a lot of relationships and stuff like that or people out there where it's a one-way street. Like, you know, one person is doing everything, breaking their back, um, making things happen where the other one kind of just, you know, just enjoys the ride, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's not a teammate either. It's you like know? a dead weight. Exactly. You don't want dead weight or toxicity. And you're only what? As strong as your weakest link? Is that what you normally say? You're saying? only as strong as your weakest link. Yeah, John says right? that all the, the time. The chain or the chain's going to break. Right. So, you know, if you got, you know, a great team and, you know, let's talk about our office here, right? We've got a great team. But I always tell Sharice, like, you know, that one person, she might say, oh, you know, this person is probably the weakest here. I'm like, well, your weakest link is your, you know, essentially what's going to make us fail here. So right. we got to make sure that that chain is strong too. That link is fortified. Um, and the relationship is the exact same thing. Trust comes into play too as a teammate. you got to trust your teammate. because yeah. you know, Then you got to come through on the other end though. Yeah. you got to follow through. Absolutely. Like, you know, if you say you're going to do something, then do it. And, you know, it kind of goes back to, like, you know, I, we came across this other couple. And I think that, you know, a lot of people, like the going back to the single people, you know, if you meet somebody... I do think, I really truly believe this, and I feel like there's a lot of people, because it's 2021, you guys don't even give yourself an opportunity to try to see if it's really going to work, right? Right. You just kind of, it's jump and go, jump and go, jump and go, go to the next. So if you see a light somewhere in there, right, just maybe, you'd be surprised, like, you'd be surprised if you truly love somebody, right? Mm -hmm. 
how many things you would possibly change for that person. Mm -hmm. And that change could make them a better teammate, yeah. right? So for instance, when I met John, I used to smoke, right? I used to smoke cigarettes, two packs a day. Terrible, I know, I know. I, we're all human, right? So, you know, he's like, uh-uh, I'm not having this. You're not smoking any more cigarettes, you're done. So I'm like, um, uh, I mean, I guess I can give them up, you know? <laughs> Obviously, this has helped my health immensely over the years. Immensely. You know, I don't sure. smell terrible, you know, all Thank day, God. like an ashtray, um, because that, that smell smells terrible. Now that I'm not a smoker, I can really smell it, right? It and now it's not even cool to smoke, right? Remember back in, like, 1980, it was kind of actually, like, it was cool at that time. You know, I guess you could agree to disagree. But anyways, this is what I'm saying, is you would make a change, yeah. you know, to be a better person person for your significant other be a better teammate whatever that change might be i'm just mm -hmm. using that as an example mm -hmm. but you'd be surprised so if you if you really really care for someone or you think you might really really like this person or you might possibly have future love for this person mm -hmm. or you might see really good good stuff in this person mm -hmm. you could mold this person into being somebody that you really really truly can be with right. sometimes you just have to give a little effort it's true you know, it's definitely true. A little effort goes a long way. I mean, you know, even teammates, like I said, that don't like each other. Let's say when you apply this to a relationship type deal, you guys are fighting about something. But when you guys are out there in the game, right, out in public or out in an event or whatever it is you have to go do, that's when you guys pull together as a team. You guys do what you guys got to do. Gotta get the job done. Right? And at that point, you guys can go back to the conversation later. You can fight later. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully <laughs> clear up whatever the issue was, you know. Um, that's really what it's all about. So... Now, all this is about is is being a better couple, mm -hmm. being a good team member, coming through, following through, following being responsible, through. being trustworthy, right? If you say you're going to do it, do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Help out. Make sure, you know, you're making your teammate better too as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's what it's all about. So, I mean, this is just one great tip from me and Sharice that we've learned through business, we've learned through relationship-wise. Through business. Um, through business, you do, because me and Sharice are connected like 24-7. Literally, so. we, I mean, business together and we're together all day. All day. So, I mean, so, it, you know, really got to find that happy medium. You do. You <laughs> do. And when you have a great team member, you'll want to be around that team member all the time. No I know, just what. so much fun. If you got a bad one, then it's going to be like, oh, you know, I really don't want her. Yeah. So, make sure you guys are finding <laughs> a good relationship with a good team member right because that's going to make all the difference in the future for you so uh this is just another great tip and trick from me and sharice we're here every sunday 11 a.m abc cupid's corner and if you can't check it out here make sure you guys are checking out youtube just type in tight medical center we've got all the shows there plus instagram and facebook it's on there too make sure you check it out Give us a like, give us a follow, subscribe to our channel, right? And give us some great feedback on our Cupid's Corners. And we'll keep bringing you this great content and these great tips and tricks just from me and Sharice to you guys. So we appreciate it. We'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Boom.